What's up guys, FB Aftermath here. I want to let you guys know my partnership with Creative Labs gives you 10% off all products on the website. Grab the Super X5 personalized audio headsets. They expand the sound stage in your headsets for a more natural listening experience. For me personally, it's helped really zone myself out in the gym. Uh, they're affordable headphones that will help you shut out the world. And I think that's something we all need, man. Motivation starts from the inside. And you should definitely check these headphones out. Once again, link in the description. Use code AFTERMATH. Let's all go fuck shit up. Let's get it. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. All right, man, welcome back. What's up, YouTube? Today, I just kinda wanna talk about um, how I'm feeling on my current OG split. And uh, I have to tell you guys, man, the strength gains, the recovery, um, not so much the body composition, but the strength and recovery have been really good. Um, I've been enjoying my workouts a lot more, which I feel like is really important. Um, I think a lot of times we get burnt out from working out or just we get bored too fast. I know if, if you're like me, I get bored really fast, so I have to change things up. And the thing about the push-pull training is I could just make so many combinations in a workout you know if i feel like i'm lacking in one area i'll add an extra exercise um to that certain uh, muscle group um but it's been keeping my shoulder a lot healthier um just for the fact that i feel like i'm more balanced when it comes to training my body before you know you had your chest day your back day chest, back, legs, you know, arms and shoulders, I mean, those four different days and then you separate it again and you never know really how much more you're training that other muscle um, with a split day and you can kind of get lost and it builds a lot of imbalances. So what I'm doing now has been uh, really beneficial for me uh, internally as externally and I've been more focused on what I'm doing as far as okay if I'm doing this exercise what is what does it help me with is it for look or is it for movement performance is it making me stronger you know I think more outside the box rather than just having a full-on volume day or a full-on strength day uh, the combination of everything has really been helping me so when I do bench on you know my push-pull day of course and then I'm like all right bench is getting stronger take care of the shoulder all right, so I need to do, you know, chest supported rows to keep my shoulder from being affected from bitching. And I just things like that, just small things like that that I just think about that really help and will keep you, you know, injury free. Well, hopefully keep you injury free, just kind of maybe give you a pinch or something, but nothing major. And uh, that's the main thing. We're in this for the long run. We want to keep it going. So um, that being said, um, same thing for leg training you know if you guys want to know my split right right here here it is so Monday's push pull right so that includes chest back shoulders um, triceps biceps uh, stuff like that uh, the day after will be a hamstring and glute dominant leg day and we focus on you know thrusting uh, force squats uh, this day can also um, be like an accessory day for Olympic lifting that's what I love about that like I don't have to think about like volume big legs you know just straight leg day because um, legs take a lot of toll and for me to be able to break down and focus on the backside uh, so I was yawning kind of uh, the backside and then the next leg day we're gone my front quads and um, I might even put my shins with me not my shins well my shins yeah and my uh, calves with the second leg day um, just because I could put a lot of energy and time into training the calves because the calves kind of get a strain and stuff just from training the backside from the hamstrings um, especially doing leg curls I don't know about you guys but a lot of times I feel doing leg curls in my calves uh, I'm not sure if that's due to because they are tight and um, yes I have very tight calves people 
are just like, Toronto, you got the best cast, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, these shits hurt. They hurt, bro. And it's just like, I can't. I used to have uh, plantar fasciitis, I think. And that's when you get out of bed. And like, the first, as soon as, you, bro, oh my God. As soon as you touch the ground, it feels like you're stepping on a ground of just nails. It, 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 it hurts so bad. And I really don't know how I got rid of it. I mean, I guess I did try to get rid of it, you know, um, trying to stretch and go get um, massage work done. But that is something I never want to go through again, ever. And I do not wish that upon anybody. Well, I wish that upon the worst people of the world. But other than that, then no, you don't want that. So definitely take care of yourself. Um, and even with this training, I've been more um open to like you know getting a little bit of extra cardio done getting some stretching done dynamic mobility work done um uh, before when i was in that whole you know single single body movement days you know where just chest day only back day only it was just that it was just that keep big blah 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 work the chest blah 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 six six exercises and you know, it was like killing me bro i just I couldn't keep up with my own workouts that's how that's how much it was killing me and like i said man this is personally this is what i'm going to stick to and like i said on wednesdays are my mobility days so wednesdays for sure are like my olympic lifting um you know like I said, shoulder mobility or internal stuff, you know, working on those joints, stronger knees, stronger shoulders, stronger hips, um, and also conditioning. So I'll do some sprints, I'll do some, um, what's the bike shit name? The uh, the paddle, the the thing, the rower. Yeah, the, the rower, the Tehran, it's literally the name. I mean, anyways, I'll do some of that, or um, shit. What else do I do? So hill sprints, I'll run outside. Uh, my main thing to stick with when it comes to conditioning work is always the 10, 100 meter sprints. And that's even in my programs because that's what I do. That's what I believe in. That's what's helped for my clients. It sucks, yes, but God, it works. 10, 100 meter sprints, you find a track if you can you jog the curbs or walk it you know if you're starting out and you don't have good um conditioning and then you sprint the straights simple as that and um you know some short burst stuff 10 20 meter sprints maybe a 50 uh, to end things off do some suicides do some um uh what is it some shuttle runs you know be fast be dynamic you know enjoy fitness man and that's one thing man progress comes when you learn to enjoy learn to be patient and you really have to take that on and fitness is a long run until you're dead until you're dead simple as that so if you can't if it's taking you years to just get used to it and handle it then i don't know what to tell you but all i can say is just like find a reason um I think even when people say I have no reason why I train, I think they really do. It's because they like to. They like to. They want to be active. They want to do something. If you like me, I can't be still. So, I mean, shit, there you go. There's your reason. You just want to be active and get out the fucking house. But anyways, this is my video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys for watching. And catch you next video, which is Sunday. Bye. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.